to requirement of the technical barrier to test based on the in intensifying uh, national standard in development and uh, procedure of the conformity assessment in the compliance with the international requirement and the international priority. The Directorate uh, of Standard Equality of Vietnam, SAMEC, as the highest uh, government organization of standard and conformity assessment, now is trying his best on the nation's standard decision activity based on strengthening cooperation with the organization in the world uh, on the field of standard decision and conformity assessment, with aiming to treat facilitation. Vietnam Standard uh, Training Program is one of the cooperation activities of stomach with the NC and US the TDI. Uh, through the presentation of the American expert and uh, discussion with them today, participants who are representative of ministry branches, enterprise, private sector, Vietnam, and officer from the stomach. Uh, could learn more and more experience of, uh, from American side in developing standard technical requirement, uh, policy and conformity assessment, uh, experience on the efficiency, uh, implementing TBT, and as well as on the uh, encouraging private sector in standard development. This information could help us understand on the picture of standard activity in America. Uh, the training cost is a good chance for the all participants from Vietnam to exchange and discuss with the American expert for more understanding each other and promoting cooperation between Vietnam and American is fine of standard and conformity assessment uh, for the final purpose for the facilitate uh, to check between Vietnam and American. On this occasion, on behalf of STAMIC, I would like to sincerely thank ANSI and USDA and American experts for the having close cooperation with the us during the time of the preparing preparation for the this training program. I do hope that uh, we will have a very interesting training course, and I wish the training course uh, successfully. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, Stamek, for those very nice welcoming comments. Let me now introduce Ms. Elise Owen, who is our lead instructor for this session. Ms. Owen serves as ANSI's representative for China and India, and is responsible for increasing ANSI's interfacing with other priority markets in Asia, including Vietnam. Ms. Owen is actively working <coughs> to communicate and promote U.S. positions for standardization and conformity assessment to ensure that standards facilitate trade and to promote the U.S. approach to standards and its benefits. Before working with ANSI, Ms. Owen worked with the U.S. Department of Commerce International Trade Administration. As an international trade specialist, she worked to facilitate U.S. exports and to resolve individual and systemic bilateral concerns on foreign regulations and policies that hindered U.S. market access. In this capacity, Ms. Owen worked to ensure that U.S. industry perspectives and positions were represented in the World Trade Organization Technical Barriers to Trade Agreement, participating in the development of United States policy documents for the TBT Committee, and working to address TBT-related compliance and enforcement issues. Ms. Owen is proficient in Mandarin and Chinese and Japanese, graduating with honors and certified by the Defense Language Institute and Foreign Language Center, where she served in the United States Army. She holds an MBA from the University of Hawaii at Manoa and earned her undergraduate degree at Regents College, graduating with honors from both. Elise? Thank you, Stephen. It's a great pleasure to be here tonight and to have the opportunity to give a presentation and also to try and answer any questions that our Vietnamese colleagues may find. Before I begin, I would like to introduce our interpreter also, Ms. Lan Dai. Ms. Landai is here to help um, address any areas where there may be confusion. Before I begin my presentation, which will be in English, I would like to invite um, Landai to help me translate some rather difficult terms that are included in the translation. I'd like to ensure that everybody understands. Um, and so I will say the name of the term in English, 
and